Hello again, Guardians, and welcome back to the channel for another Destiny 2 episode. Now, before we get started, every single week I like to do a giveaway for my subscribers, and I'm also giving away three copies of Destiny 2. So if that may interest you and you want to enter in for those giveaways, the details are on the screen now. All you have to do is pause the video, read the instructions, and enter in for the giveaways. Now to begin talking about Destiny 2 in this video. We've got a list of five things that are going to make the game bad. I'm not saying that Destiny 2 is going to be a bad game. Overall, compared to Destiny, it's going to be an amazing game. But there's still five things that are a little bit worrisome, so let's go over it in this video. Number one, the story. Yes, the story seems like a very broad topic, but there's two specific things with the story that are a bit worrisome to us. Now, compared to the story from Destiny to Destiny 2, Destiny 2 is a million times better and more advanced. But there are still things from Destiny over to Destiny 2 that we're still not learning about. That is one thing being the darkness. We don't really know where or who the darkness is and why all of these alien races are fighting against us, the Guardians, which are powered by the light. What the darkness is is something that we will not learn about once again in Destiny 2, which is a problem for most people moving from the Destiny game over to the new game. And the sequel should have already told us about this from some point of view at any given time, but still, we don't really understand what the darkness is. Another thing is the Stranger. The Stranger back in Destiny was never really spoken about other than a couple segments where the Stranger straight up tells us there's no time to explain why there isn't time to explain. And this aspect of Destiny to Destiny 2 is a little bit bothersome for most people. We should know who the Stranger is and where she came from and why she needed her help. And moving into Destiny 2... A bunch of people, Game Informer, IGN, Kotaku included, alongside Bungie, have stated The Stranger is not coming to Destiny 2, and we're not going to be talking about that character anymore. So, apparently, it's just lost in the wind, and we'll never learn about why she needed her help and where she came from. And that is a problem for a lot of people. Number 2. PlayStation 4 exclusive content. This can be a problem for many people, especially PC players that are just starting out in the franchise. And moving from Destiny to Destiny 2, we have a little bit of an issue with PlayStation 4 exclusivity moving from the Destiny game. And there's a bunch of stuff that's still PlayStation 4 exclusive over on the Destiny game and hasn't been moved over to Xbox yet. Now, it was promised a long time ago that it would, and there's just some things that aren't being moved over. I don't know if Bungie got lazy and didn't want to move it over, but I hope the same thing doesn't happen over on Destiny 2, because if it does, it's going to make a lot of Xbox users and PC users very upset, because they are promised a PlayStation 4 exclusive content later down the road. If it doesn't end up happening like that, then Bungie is breaking a promise, just like they did in the original Destiny game. And that, for many, is an issue. Now for me, I'm a PlayStation 4 user at heart, so using the PlayStation 4 is pretty exciting for me because I get that exclusive content. But since I'm going to be playing on Xbox and PC as well, I'm a little worried about not getting the exclusive content later down the road like I'm promised. So that could be an issue for a lot of people that are just major Xbox or PC users. Number 3, 4v4 PvP. Now, this could be a really good thing for the game, but it could also be a really bad thing for the game. Having 4v4 game modes allows the game to be monitored a little bit better and easier than previously before, like the 3v3 game modes, the 1v1 game modes, 2v2 game modes, which were doubles, and then there was the 6v6 game modes, and then there was Rumble, which was 1v1v1v1v1v1, if I said enough v1s, but that's a different story. Moving over into all 4v4 game modes, this could be a problem pursued by many people that loved Trials of Osiris. Trials of Osiris, or the Trials of the Nine as they're going to be called in Destiny 2, are going to be 4v4 game modes now. And that could be a problem for most people that had teams developed for Trials and they're moving over to Destiny 2. Now they have to add on an additional person, and that might cause some issue for the Destiny community. Another thing that's not happening is Rumble is being removed. Rumble was a game mode that many people liked. There was a group of the community that didn't like it, but there's still the fact that remains that there's still a lot of people that enjoyed the game mode, and it's just being removed altogether. This might cause a problem in the Crucible community. And then number four, 
Number four, no ranked matches. This goes into PvP a little bit, and no ranked matches from the beginning of Destiny 2. With Destiny becoming such a competitive game in the Crucible aspect, I'm really surprised that ranked matches aren't going to play a big role in Destiny 2 right from the get-go. Now, starting off in the game not having ranked matches might not be a huge issue as long as they add them later down the road. But if we don't have ranked play and we can't get MLG tournaments out there, there's a lot of teams out there that have been wanting this for a very long time in the community. And for Bungie not adding it right away might be an issue, especially with Activision and their knowledge behind Call of Duty and running ranked tournaments. This is going to be a really big issue in the community later down the road. Number 5. 30 FPS console versions of the game of Destiny 2. This is a really big issue. We dropped PlayStation 3 and Xbox 360 because we wanted the game to progress in a way that we couldn't even imagine. One of those is 4K resolution, 60 frames per second for a game. Yes, the PC version of Destiny 2 is getting this, but we were kind of promised a really nice game coming to consoles. And yes, as we are getting a 4K experience on consoles, we're only getting 30 frames per second, which is kind of unexpected. We wanted a 60 frame per second game, and this might be a deal breaker for some people. As for me, I'm not really worried about it. The game looks great on PC, and it still looks amazing on console, and I'm really proud with the way Bungie has made the game. It looks way better than Destiny, and that is basically it for this video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed this. What do you guys think about the five options I've put in this video? If you have any questions or concerns, leave them down in the comment section. Also, leave your own ideas down in the comment section as well. I want to hear all of your guys' ideas on what's good and bad about the game. I'll be putting up another video like this very soon about the five things that are good about the game that will make this game probably one of the best games of the year. But I have to give a huge shout out to my patrons really quick. They are on the screen now. If you want to support my channel even more and support the Patreon, you get really cool rewards. The link in the description. And also, if you enjoyed this video, remember to leave a like. Also share it with your friends, fellow guardians. And as always, stay violent, be privileged. Oh, hi. BBG isn't here right now, but I guess you enjoyed the content. So over there is the logo you can click on. That will allow you to subscribe. More content up there and behind the scenes daily content over here on the vlog channel. There you go. Enjoy.